In, ter- in terms of today's um, focus, I want you to think of velocity training like a spring. So it's, it's different where we're not just contracting a muscle straight away. It actually works like a spring where the more that we get a good stretch of that spring, the more power we're able to generate. So if you think of, uh, or if, if you're doing, if you listen to this recording or live now and you want to practice this, the power of the spring in our muscles, the tendons they are, try jumping as high as you can all in one motion. So you go down, you stretch the muscles, and then you drive straight up with no pause. In terms of our power development, like I, I showed that um, curve, we've got the strength at the top of the wave, and then we've got speed down the bottom. Um, and power is all in the middle. So we want to make sure that we're doing strength work, heavy lifting, and we also want to make sure we're doing speed work like sprinting. When you're doing your strength work, the movements will be a lot slower. And we want to actually, when we're recording your speed work, if we're using an app, which is some free apps that I'll show you guys that you can download, and it will show you how fast the barbell's moving or how fast your body's moving or how fast the med ball is traveling through the air. And then we'll have some targets for your power exercises, which will be a lot faster. So this is the research that I was talking about where we're looking at how fast your the barbell is moving when you're doing maximal heavy lifting. So let's say you squat 100 kilos. 60% of your 1RM would be 60 kilos. And if we're looking at how fast you're moving that bar, you should move it at 0.72 meters per second. Whereas when we test your maximal strength, so when you have 100 kilos in the bar and you complete one rep, it's going to be a lot slower. It'll be 0.25 meters per second. In terms of the upper body lifts, we've got bench press, overhead pressing, uh, pull-ups, and then your rows. Uh, Important to uh, know that when you're looking at this data that the... um, the rows are starting at the top of a chin up. Yeah, so with your chin over the bar, that's the starting position because then you're able to use the springs. When you lower, you stretch the muscles on the way down and then you're able to drive up and use the springs. So that's why it's the fastest um, of the movements with the with being able to use the stretch shortening cycle of the shoulder joint with pull-ups and, and bench pull. Like I mentioned before, there's some tools to use, and I've used the Iron Path Pro. That's an app that you can download from your phone. I think it costs a couple of dollars, um, and, that, and what you do is it, it targets the barbell when you film from side on, and then because the camera uh, quality in iPhones these days is so great, you're able to see how fast that barbell is moving, and that's a good measure for your um, speed, and then therefore you can see if you're lifting the right amount of weight for your power development that day.